Hey Deckers, it's that time again where we look at the most played Steam Deck games for last month, which was March 2024 and it's another big shake up of the chart so let's get going. Dropping one spot but still holding strong Persona 5 Royale invites you into a world shrouded in mystery and rebellion. As a high school student transferred to Tokyo you're faced with a daunting future and the urgent need to alter fate. Don the mask of a phantom thief and save others from twisted desires in this captivating journey of self-discovery and adventure. Verified for Steam Deck, running at a very solid 90 plus frames per second on the OLED Steam Deck or will give you a solid 60 on the LCD so you're not going to have any issues with this one. Climbing up the ladder, Hades is a game that captures the essence of perseverance. Play as the immortal prince of the underworld striving to escape the domain of the god of the dead. With each escape attempt you grow stronger and unravel more of this enigmatic story. Verified on Steam Deck running at a solid 60 frames per second and will have a no issues running on 90 on the OLED you're not going to have any problems with this one. Making a triumphant re-entry at number 18 is Fallout 4, which immerses you in a post-apocalyptic world where survival is everything. As the sole survivor of Vault 111, you're thrust into a world ravaged by nuclear war. This game will challenge you to make critical choices in rebuilding and shaping the fate of the wasteland with playable status on the Steam Deck and performance of 40 to 60 on the highest graphical settings even with major stuff going on in the world and 60 plus on the OLED you're not going to have any issues playing this on deck for hours on end. Back in the game at number 17 is Dave the Diver, blending underwater exploration with culinary creativity. Dive into the blue hole during the day and hunt exotic sea creatures and then run a unique sushi restaurant by night. Is it classed as an indie classic or is it still a big budget AA or AAA? Let us know in the comments below. Verify for Steam Deck, it's not an issue anymore as it's been patched and runs at a solid 60 on the LCD or 90 on the OLED. Returning to the fray, Vampire Survivors in at 16 with a game of survival and endurance. In a world where the devils roam free and death is inevitable, your only goal is to survive as long as possible. Collect gold, buy upgrades and prepare for the relentless onslaught. Verified for Steam Deck and for a very good reason as it runs now at a decent 60 frames per second on the LCD or 90 on the OLED if you let it and will give you a good 4-5 to five hours gameplay at the very least. Moving on up, Red Dead Redemption 2 tells a tale of outlaws on the brink of extinction. Join Arthur Morgan and the Vandalin gang as they battle against the odds in America's unforgiving heartland. Loyalty, survival and betrayal play key roles in this epic tale with playable status on the Steam Deck it's an immersive journey into the wild west like no other. Be careful of your VRAM setting on this one as if it's at 4 gig, you will have issues around water where it will cap itself to 30 frames per second but otherwise you can enjoy 40 to 60 frames per second at medium settings. Climbing three spots is Skyrim Special Edition, which redefines the world of open world fantasy. As Dragonborn, you have the power to confront ancient dragons and shape your own destiny, offering unprecedented freedom of choice and a captivating storyline with playable status and tons of mods that all still work on the Steam Deck. You will be playing this one at a solid 60 on the LCD or 90 on the OLED and lose yourself in the world of Skyrim. The Binding of Isaac Rebirth jumps up two places with its masterful blend of action RPG and roguelike elements. Follow Isaac's harrowing journey battling bizarre creatures and uncovering secrets in a randomly generated world. Verified for Steam Deck and only running at 6 to 7 watts, you're going to get a good 6 to 7 hours gameplay at least with this one, with a solid 60 frames per second throughout. With this updates on playable status, we have a new entry at 12 with Last Epoch, which combines time travel and dungeon crawling for a unique RPG experience. Navigate through a terror's past to save the future from the clutches of the void. Playable on the Steam Deck, officially now this game is a compelling mix of action and strategy, appealing to both RPG veterans and newcomers alike. This is running at a pretty solid 60 frames per second throughout, although we do get some dips into the 40s in heavy fights, but running medium to high settings is absolutely fine on this one. Rising up the ranks, Grand Theft Auto V is a story of crime, survival and trust in a city where everyone's a potential enemy. 
With its complex narrative and thrilling heist, it remains a staple for gamers seeking a deep, engaging experience. Playable on the Steam Deck, it's a journey through the dark underbelly of contemporary life. Running at a good 60 to 90 frames per second on the LCD or OLED, as long as you keep MSAA off, and you can run this quite happily at high graphics settings. Despite dropping 7 spots, Persona 3 Reload remains a fan favourite. Explore the mysteries of the Dark Hour and unlock an incredible power to alter fate. As a transfer student caught between day-to-day -day life and extraordinary events, your choices leave a lasting impact. Verified for the Steam Deck, it's a unique blend of traditional RPG elements and modern storytelling, with a solid 60 frames per second plus in dungeons, and now they've fixed the cutscenes and in-between sections, it should remain 60 throughout. Moving up two spots to nine is Monster Hunter World, which is an epic quest of survival. Hunt fearsome monsters, craft powerful weapons and gear, and explore diverse habitats. Verified on the deck, each quest is a new adventure, testing your skills and strategy to the limits. Still needs a few more optimizations, but running at a good 40 to 60 frames per second on the OLED, and when the battles get a bit tough, it can dip down into the 30s, but it's still more than playable on medium to high settings. Also up a couple of spots is Cyberpunk 2077 at number 8, an action-packed open-world RPG set in the vibrant Night City. Shape your story and your character as you navigate a world of intrigue, danger, and futuristic technology. Verified for the Steam Deck, it offers an immersive experience where every choice has a consequence. Running at a good 30 to 40 frames per second on the Steam Deck settings as long as you turn motion blur off if you don't want to be sick, but it will be a bit harsher with 25 to 30 in Dogtown. Dropping six spots away from the top is number seven, Pal World, remaining a unique mix of survival, combat and friendship. In a world where resources are scarce, you'll fight alongside mysterious creatures known as Pals, to gain the edge over your rivals. Playable on the Steam Deck, it's a game where tough choices define your journeys, whether you eat your pals or use them for battles. Although flying around we can dip down into the 30s, for the most part this is a 40 to 50 frames per second game on medium and is getting better with every patch. Rising three spots to number six is Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Fight alien monsters, upgrade your gear, and delve deep into hazardous caves. With a playable status on the Steam Deck, each mission offers new challenges and opportunities, ensuring a fresh experience every time. Even with the hordes closing in, you're getting a good 60 to 90 frames per second on the OLED, and you'll get a good capped 60 frames per second on the LCD on medium to high settings. Dropping one place, but still holding on to the top five, is Elden Ring captivating with its vast world and intense battles. Explore, conquer and revel in the sense of accomplishment as you face overwhelming threats. Verified for the Steam Deck, but you'll want to be running this one at 30 to 40 frames per second on medium to high graphics to get the most out of your experience, but it will be stable nonetheless, pushing around 2 to 3 hours gameplay. Falling 2 spots and still a challenge in Act 3, at number 4 is Boulder's Gate 3, a gripping tale of transformation and power. As you grapple with an inner corruption, the bonds you form and the choices you make shape your journey through a world caught in a celestial conflict. Verified for Steam Deck, which is debatable, with a deep, character-driven RPG experience. You'll be running at 20 to 30 frames per second for some sections throughout Act 3, especially in the main town area, but for the rest of the game you are pushing 30 plus frames per second. Up two places is Helldivers 2, offering a fast-paced cooperative third-person shooter experience. Join the battle for freedom across the galaxy where teamwork is key and every mission is a test of skill and strategy. Playable on the Steam Deck, it's a game where cooperation and tactics will lead you to victory for democracy. Depending on your gameplay settings, you'll be able to play this at medium at 40 to 60 frames per second, but if you go up to hard or extreme difficulty, you're going to be around the 30 frames per second at the best of times. Soaring up a massive 10 places to number 2 is Balatro, a unique twist on poker with roguelike elements. Combine poker hands with jokers to create powerful builds and strategies, beat the odds, uncover hidden bonuses and aim for the top. Verified for the Steam Deck and pushing only 8 watts, you're going to be addicted to this one for hours and your battery will last a good 6-8 to eight hours on the OLED and about 5 hours on the LCD. A huge comeback, jumping up 7 places 
is taking the top spot for Stardew Valley, which is a charming and engaging farming adventure. You inherit your grandfather's farm and breathe new life into it, learning to live off the land and meet all of the villagers and stories that intertwine. Verified for the Steam Deck and pushing a phenomenal 8 watts, you're going to be again playing this one for 8 to 10 hours on the OLED and around 5 to 6 hours on the LCD. Capped at 60 frames per second, you're going to have a fantastic time farming on this one. That's the official most played list for March, but let us know what you've been playing in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Steam Deck game performance and verified updates each week. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.